Hey guys, Alec here, and welcome to a reaction video. Today, I will be reacting to a doubly found Chase Brody. Now, a lot of you probably don't know, uh, Chase Brody is a, as you can see there, a Jacksepticeye character made a long time ago that um, I've been very excited about um, watching. The last time we've seen him was like 2006, no, 2019, I think. And he got captured. So, I think we just get to jump right into this. And let's go. The date is October 18th, 2019. We are interviewing... Can you state your name for the record, sir? Uh, Chase Brody. Mr. Brody is a 5 foot 8 inch white male, mid-30s. He was described as having appeared out of thin air by a passerby on the top level of a parking garage. Mr. Brody, can you tell us how you ended up at this location? I, I have no idea. I mean, one second I was one place, and the next thing I know I'm somewhere else. Wait, what's going on? Where am I? You're safe, that's all you need to know. So you don't have any recollection of how you got here? No, I have no idea. Subject has no recollection of spatial transition. Wait, excuse me? Spatial subject? transition? And Apologies. subject, yeah, that's also... What do you remember, point. Mr. Brody? Uh... I was in the woods, and then I wasn't. In the woods? What were you doing there? It's not important. We will decide if it's important or not, Mr. Brody. What were you doing in the woods? I was taking a walk. Trying to clear my head. Do you recognize this facility? Well, I don't recognize you, but this building is familiar. It's... It's like I've been here before. Mr. Brody, I assure you that you've never been to this facility before. Interesting. You have no records of you even stepping foot in this building. No, it's, it's not like that. It's... There's an energy here that I've felt before, but it's probably just deja vu or something. Have you experienced other instances of this? Like what? What do you mean? Like feelings like deja vu, like something's happened before. Yeah, of course, but I mean, everybody has. It's just the mind playing tricks on you. Have you had any other similar experiences, like uh, seeing things that aren't there, strange objects appearing out of nowhere, losing track of time? Mm, no, I, I, I don't know. It's hard to tell. Of course. Mr. Brody, have you ever heard of Alter 114209? No. I have no idea what that is. Yeah, how would he know that? Wait, what's going on? Why am I here? You're here, Mr. Brody, because we deem it necessary. What? Note, indicators show subject is lying about knowledge of Alter 114209. Use of the Dr. Hopkins assessment might be needed going forward. Wait, no, I'm not lying. I told you guys, I have no idea what that is. Don't worry, Mr. Brody. We here at Iris will get to the bottom of this. Get to the bottom of what? When can I go home? We're afraid that's not possible right now. You can't just keep me here. Try to get some rest, Mr. Brody. Tomorrow will be a big day. This concludes our session. Huh. Poor Chase. He can never catch a prank, can he? <laughs> the date is October 19th, 2019, and we are interviewing Chase Brody again. Use of the Dr. Hopkins assessment has been approved. Good morning, Mr. Brody. <laughs> is it? We're gonna ask you a series of questions <laughs> to determine your state of mind. Now keep in mind, we can detect if you're lying, so please try to answer truthfully. You okay with this, Mr. Brody? Do I have a choice? Is your name Chase Brody? Wait, shouldn't I be hooked up to like a bunch of wires or something? I assure you our technology is quite capable. That won't be necessary. I will repeat the question, is your name Chase Brody? Was he crying? Yeah. Are you 34 years old? My boy, 30. Yes. Are you taking the Dr. Hopkins assessment right now? Yeah, I guess. On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the lowest and 10 being the highest, how would you describe your current mental state? Why do you need to know that? Please just answer the questions. I don't know. A 4. 
Have you ever felt an attack of fear or anxiety? Yes, of course. Do you feel safe? <laughs> right now, no. Do you regret your decisions? <laughs> what? Do you regret your decisions? About what? You're gonna have to be more specific. Do you know where you are? Uh, somewhere in Iris. Do you know why you're here? No. I keep telling you guys, I have no idea. Have you ever heard of Altar 114209? No, I told you yesterday. I have no idea what that is. What was the first time you came into contact with Altar 114209? Are you even listening? How many times do I have to tell you, I have no idea what that is? All right, moving on, Mr. Brody. How many pictures have been shown to you so far? What pictures? pictures? None. How many sounds have been played for you? None. None. Are you easily startled? No. I mean, maybe? I don't know. It depends on the situation. What's the worst pain you've ever felt? I don't know. I can't remember. Do you believe in God? <sighs> Bit of a loaded question, don't you think? <laughs> Let's just answer the question, Mr. Brody. No. He, he looks so dumb. I mean, I used to, not anymore. Do you believe in life after death? Okay, no. This is ridiculous. No, I'm not doing this. Ridiculous or not, please just try to answer the question truthfully. Do you believe in life after death? No. Have you ever experienced a terrible occurrence that has impacted you significantly? No. Have you ever lost someone close to you? Okay, look, I've answered all your questions. I'm not doing this anymore. We're not done with the assessment yet, Mr. Brody. Have you ever lost someone close to you? I don't care if we're done with the assessment, okay? I'm not doing this. Have you ever lost someone close to yes! you? Yes! I lost the only two people that ever mattered to me. Oh, Chase. Oh yeah, context. That's, uh, two people are uh, his wife and his daughter. Thank you, Mr. Brody. This concludes our assessment. Wait, that's it? What was the point of all of that? What, what's when do I get some damn answers? Bar chase. And that's it. Hello? Come on. Don't tell me you're giving me the silent treatment now. It was just getting fun. What? So, why? Am I supposed to just sit here and talk to myself? Oh, Iris, you're so amazing. It's like only yesterday we used to talk. I miss you so much. <laughs> it's probably just me though, right? Should we see other people? What was that? What, what do you want me to do with this? <laughs> I'm not a dog. Go on, Chase. You're a master trick shot. You, you can do take this a for all your guests? Or am I just special? <laughs> Good job. Oh, it's getting more aggressive. Or just get louder. What is this? I know you're watching. Hello? Anybody? Oh no, is he gonna go insane now? Hello? Anybody? Come on, I know you're watching me. The light's on. I'll break your camera. Oh, help! 
Great acting. Fuck. <laughs> this is what you want, isn't it? Yeah, you guys watching. I know you're looking at me. You sick fucks. Can you at least turn the lights off? How am I supposed to sleep? Can you turn off the lights? Thank you. Come on, this isn't funny. I'm trying to sleep. Hey, look, when are you guys gonna let me out of here? All right, it's starting to get really boring. I answered all of your questions. I told you everything I know. What more do you want from me? What Hello? the? Is this some sort of sick joke? What was that? <gasps> oh no. No, 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 not this again. No, please. Please, please, please go away. Please. Please be alone. Please, please, please go away. Eddie! What do you want from me? Aww. Oh, there's something. <clears throat> the date is October 21st, 2019. We are interviewing Chase Brody once again. Welcome back. I thought you guys forgot about me or something. Mr. Brody has experienced elevated exposure levels since we last spoke. Levels in the room have also been increased. Wait, what do you mean? I've just been sitting here. What have you guys exposed me to? Mr. Brody, there are powers in this world that would seek to harm individuals such as yourself that we are trying to protect you from. What bullshit? You think you're doing all of this to protect me? Believe me, Mr. Brody, we are. We're gonna carry out the Hopkins assessment again. Oh, great. As before, please try to answer every question truthfully. Is your name Chase Brody? Yep. Are you 34 years old? Uh-huh. Are you taking the Dr. Hopkins assessment right Yeah, now? yeah, 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 just ask the questions. On a scale of one to 10, one being the lowest and 10 being the highest, how would you describe your current mental state? Well, I'm pretty pissed off right now, it's a rock bottom. What was that? Do you feel safe? Do you feel safe? I, no. Are you enjoying your time here? <laughs> uh, what kind of question yeah, is that? No. How does this image make you feel? Very confused. Do you know why you're here? No, I keep asking you that. Are you comfortable? You're comfortable. No. Do you have any experience with Alter 114209? No, I keep telling you, I, no. When was the first time you came into contact with Alter 114209? I haven't. Do you know why you're here? Wait, wait. Is Alter 114209, is that antiseptic guy? That would make sense, because he's been encountering him since the very beginning. Didn't you ask me that already? Have you ever lost someone close to you? Yes. How many pictures have you been shown? I don't know. Uh, four? How many sounds have you heard? Two. Do you regret your decisions? Uh, yes. Do you mean that? What? Have you ever experienced a terrible occurrence that has impacted you significantly? No, I, uh, yes. Do you believe in life after death? Uh, no. Have you ever experienced a terrible occurrence that has impacted you significantly? Stop. Have you ever experienced a terrible occurrence that has impacted you significantly? Have you ever experienced a terrible occurrence that has impacted you significantly? Stop, please, stop it. Have you ever experienced a terrible occurrence that has impacted you significantly? Stop asking me. Have you ever experienced a terrible occurrence that has impacted you significantly? Stop, stop, please, stop it. Have you ever experienced a terrible occurrence? Stop! Subject's exposure has increased to concerning levels. Suggest moving to second phase pending board permission. What is this? What did you do to me? You didn't do anything. What did you do to me? 
so is this sub not him but that person is it anti-septicon uh oh What the hell? No, 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 not this again. Wait, no, this is different. Hello? Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Who are you? Uh, I'm Chase. Wait, what? where are you? How, how can I hear you? What the fuck? Help what? Me. Can you get me out of here? Then why are you talking to me? Are you trapped here too? No, 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 don't say that, no. If both of us work together, we can get out of here. What, what do you mean? How, how do you know that? You've seen him too? What does he want? What? What, what is happening? What? I don't understand. What do you mean I'm special? No, 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 no. No, please don't go. No, please. I need to know. Echo? Echo. Are you there? Echo? So they named him Echo. Or was it an actual being that came by to chase? That's... Please, don't leave me alone here. What is going on? Now he took off his hat. Hello, Chase. How are you doing today? Just peachy. And we know you've been through a lot recently, Chase. We just want to help. Please, allow us to lighten the mood a little. We're not a bad company, Chase. We know you think we're evil and want to cause you harm, but that couldn't be further from the truth. We want to stop the bad things from happening. You guys sure have a funny way of showing it. We would like to share some information with you about our company and why you're here, if you would allow us. It took them this okay. long? A few years back, there was an incident in a small town in the north of England. An item was discovered that had a considerable influence over the people who lived there. An item? What kind of item? A small stone slab. It seemed harmless from the outside, stone but this slab. item was affecting lives of everyone in this town. They had no idea, of course, but many of the residents there had talked about getting severe headaches that wouldn't go away, getting nosebleeds much more frequently than normal, and some started hearing voices. Voices. We're not entirely sure what these voices were saying. We actually see a door. They evidently had an impact on the people who experienced them. Many lost their minds, were completely unresponsive, while others, sadly, turned a darker path. Why are you telling me this? When Iris found out what had been happening in this village, we sent out a team to negate the problem. The CNC identified the item and took it back here for containment. So? So, you see, Chase. Iris helped those people in that village. We saved them. We find items like those and we protect people from them. We're not here to harm you. We just want to help. Wait. Is Chase that item? Wait a minute. So if he holds an item that that's in the uh it's in Iris, does that mean that he's also that item? That makes sense, right? Because everything bad is happening around him. Probably forcing others to be negative as well. So, what? Are you, are you telling me that I'm being affected by one of these items? Unfortunately, we believe there is something far more sinister interfering with your life. How, how much more sinister can this get? What is affecting you is orders of magnitude more powerful than any of these items. Oh. So, so what? You guys knew that this was happening, and you just sat there 
and did nothing. We're just trying to get to the bottom of this, Chase. We know what you've been through. No, you have no idea what I've been through. You've been seeing things, correct? Hearing voices in your head? Have you seen a man alongside these visions? How did you know that? That, Chase, is Alter 114209. We've been tracking him for quite some time. I was right. Oh, okay. That makes... I knew it. It only made sense. He won't leave me alone. He shows me such awful things. What I did. We know what was taken from you, Chase. That you used to be a husband. A father. Aw. Didn't kill them. I'm sorry? I didn't kill them. He didn't ask that. Wait. Wait a minute. Did Auntie made Chase kill them? They didn't leave. They just killed him. What? <laughs> what? I'm very sorry, Mr. Brody. We need to take you somewhere more secure. More secure? Why? What happened? Nothing, Mr. Brody. It's merely a precaution. Okay, a precaution against what, though? What are you not telling me? We do this a lot, Mr. Brody. We move people around to free up space. You don't want to be stuck in this tiny room forever, do you? No, that's not true, is it? Something happened. If you would just follow us, we will happily explain everything. Uh, okay, okay. Oh no. Wait. What is it, Mr. Brody? Wait, we have to leave. I, I've, I've been here before. That, that's impossible, Mr. Brody. No, no, you don't get it. I've been exactly here before. No, please, let me go. Please, please calm no, down. we have to leave. Calm down, please, Mr. Brody. Let me, Everything let me go. There it is! Please! Please, no! Let me go! Please! Please, no! Well, he was right. Whoa. What? Chase did warn you all. <gasps> no. My boy's back. Eddie. Hey, buddy. Ooh. Well, Aaron's dead. <laughs> oh, Chase. Whoa. <laughs> and that was it. And that was it. Holy crap. <laughs> I'm sure there's going to be more after this. This was insane. <laughs> uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Alec. And um, yeah. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll see you all later. Take care.